YouTube creator Billy LeBlanc faces tragedy as partner Natalie Clark dies from bacterial infection. The unexpected death of Natalie Clark, the partner of YouTube creator Billy LeBlanc, has sent shockwaves through the online community and beyond. Clark succumbed to a severe bacterial infection, Vibrio vulnificus, contracted from raw oysters. LeBlanc himself narrowly escaped death, spending eight days in the ICU. The tragedy, shared on social media, underscores the lurking dangers of foodborne illnesses and the fragility of life. On July 14, Billy LeBlanc, 44, revealed on Instagram that he and Clark contracted the rare bacterial infection from consuming raw oysters, leading to Clark's untimely death. LeBlanc's poignant post expressed his deep grief and love for Clark, highlighting the sudden and unpredictable nature of such tragedies. I will always remember how we got lost everywhere together, he wrote. I will always love her and miss her. Be safe and hold your loved ones tight. You never know when it'll be the last time you see them. LeBlanc's mother, Yvette Berthelot LeBlanc, further elaborated on the family's ordeal in a Facebook post dated July 6. She described the past two weeks as incredibly difficult, with Natalie losing her life and Billy coming perilously close to death. Her plea for continued prayers for Natalie's son Julian, her family, and Billy underscores the emotional toll this tragedy has taken on those close to Clark and LeBlanc. Vibrio vulnificus, the bacteria responsible for this tragedy, is a particularly virulent strain that can be contracted through the consumption of raw or undercooked seafood, especially oysters. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, while most Vibrio infections result in symptoms like diarrhea and vomiting, Vibrio vulnificus can lead to more severe complications, including intensive care or amputation. Alarmingly, approximately 20% of those infected with Vibrio vulnificus die, highlighting the deadly potential of this bacteria. Billy LeBlanc is no stranger to public life and personal tragedy. He initially gained fame as part of the Bretelli family, a popular YouTube channel that documented the daily lives of LeBlanc, his then-wife Katie, and their children Annie, Haley, and Caleb. The family's engaging and fun-loving videos garnered a massive following, but their online journey has been marred by significant loss. In October 2015, the LeBlanc family announced the sudden death of Caleb, then 13 years old, from natural causes. The outpouring of grief from their fans was palpable, and the family took a hiatus from posting while they coped with their loss. Despite these hardships, the LeBlanc family continued their YouTube venture until Billy and Katie ended their marriage in 2019. Billy then launched his own channel, Just Billy LeBlanc, where he continued to share his life and experiences with his children. In 2020, Billy introduced Natalie Clark as his new girlfriend on his channel, and she became a regular presence in his videos and social media posts. Clark's death is particularly tragic given her role in the online community and her aspirations for her son, Julian Clark. Julian, a 17-year-old aspiring actor, has his own YouTube channel and is now left to navigate life without his mother. This devastating loss adds another layer of complexity and sorrow to an already heart-wrenching narrative. Critically, this incident serves as a stark reminder of the potential dangers associated with consuming raw or undercooked seafood. Vibrio vulnificus, while rare, is a deadly pathogen that can strike swiftly and with little warning. Public health advisories often caution against the consumption of raw oysters, particularly for individuals with weakened immune systems or underlying health conditions. However, these warnings are frequently overlooked or underestimated, leading to preventable illnesses and deaths. Moreover, the social media posts by Billy and his mother highlight the emotional and psychological impacts of such sudden and severe health crises. The expressions of love, grief, and calls for prayers reflect the deep human need for connection and support in times of tragedy. These posts also serve to raise awareness among their followers about the seriousness of bacterial infections and the importance of food safety. In conclusion, the death of Natalie Clark and the near-fatal experience of Billy LeBlanc underscore the unpredictable 
and often devastating nature of bacterial infections like Vibrio vulnificus. This tragedy not only affects the individuals directly involved, but also ripples through their families, friends, and the broader community. It serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of food safety, the unpredictability of life, and the enduring need for compassion and support in the face of adversity.